Rick's Barber here. I'd like to demonstrate this, uh, it's called a manual pulse generator, MPG, that I built. Uh, it's based on a Leonardo uh, Arduino based computer, compatible computer, and it consists of a potentiometer and two buttons. So there's a total of uh, four parts, electronic parts inside. The, the Leonardo, the potentiometer, and the two switches. Uh, the only thing somewhat special about the potentiometer is that it should be a linear taper, not an audio taper. Uh, now, the one thing that I, I'm not real happy with when I converted my mill to CNC is that it, it took away the ability for me to turn the hand wheels directly. And I, there's times when that's really handy. Uh, so a real MPG, which costs about a thousand dollars, is great. You know, it lets me spin a dial and, and turn these cranks just as if I was right on them. Uh, I'm not going to pay anything like that. Uh, this device, where the if you go on eBay, the last I checked, the uh, Leonardo's cost twenty-one dollars for three of them, and if you've got the rest of the parts, we're you know, we're talking about less than $10 here. Uh, so the way it works, I'm, I'm down here because I wanted to show you close in on the Y axis, but I can move any of the axes. axes. So if I push down the Y button, you can see as I rotate this, I'm turning that hand wheel. Now, although you can't see it, there's the X, and then when I push both of them, that's the Z. Now I also have the ability to change the step size. So I just hold down the, the Y button and push X and that increases the step size. So now I'm moving, each step is a uh, 10 thou. And if I hold down the X button and hit Y, that drops me back down to the lower one, thou per step. If I hit it again, now I'm at a tenth. And what you're seeing on that jump is the backlash compensation. And then you can see the wheel is turning very slowly. Now I'm going to put it back up to bow. Um, so the way it works is I would turn this knob and you know, I'm only can go 270 degrees. At that point, I just lift up on the button and I could turn the knob back if I needed a little more range. But the intent is that I'm only dialing it about a quarter inch. So this is perfectly adequate. Uh, so I just wanted to show you what I've got. Um, details will be, uh, published in uh, Digital Machinist, but it's going to be a while before it shows up there. So, hope you liked it.